My dear peasants, a couple months ago I hit a slump. It was very difficult for me to paint. I just couldn't get into anything, so I decided to give Mid Journey a try. I generated this image above. So it is not my concept, just want to make that clear. It's probably a compilation of a lot of different artists, a lot of different losers out there who I could totally do better than on the internet. Uh, but it was a great way of uh, trying the technique that I saw and putting a little bit of my creativity in it. It was an, in, uh, an image that I really enjoyed doing, so it was uh, something that kind of broke me out. Ever since then, I have not had that much uh, trouble painting it. It was live streamed, so let me uh, go ahead. I'm gonna show you, and I will narrate uh, to the best of my abilities, which are exceptional, exactly what is going on. Three, two, one, go. So we start with the colors and I'm gonna mix uh, from dark to light about five or six different values and it looks like they're just gray with black and white but they also have red and yellow in them. The, the image as you can tell is a little bit more yellow and there's, uh, there is color in this. We're gonna start and I want you to at certain points back and forth squint down so it takes away the scratchiness of the brush stroke because this is how we want to be working is just very big and broad. We're thinking of the big shapes, the big values, just trying to place everything at once before we go in and do the details. And this way, when we squint, it's gonna unify certain values and give us a more holistic impression of what's going on. And then from there, we can obviously go and start sculpting and adding things out. As you can tell, I put down a little splotch of white in the center. That is straight white, and that is simply to tell me how light I can go. The darkest dark is gonna be down low, and so we have that value range already established from the very start. And then I am going in and adding a little bit of color. It's very, uh, it's, it's worth mentioning that in a landscape, the further back we go, you're gonna have atmospheric perspective. And so there's gonna be atmosphere that's graying everything out. It's gonna be more vibrant up close. So I'm hatching out the, uh, the details, but at the same time, I'm trying to look at the overall image uh, and effect of everything. As you can tell, you can see a little bit of, uh, of, of warmth or yellow, whatever you want to call it, up into the sky. I'm starting to hatch out some of the details, just get the impression of everything that's going on in this painting. And you're gonna see me just slowly develop. I'm gonna, every once in a while, I'll correct the big shapes. I'm working with hog hair brushes right now. That looks like a, uh, a filbert, probably a five or six. And then we're alternating between uh, the size of the brush, it's a smaller brush. And you'll also see me using some of those Tish daggers that you get from Rosemary & Co. Company, which uh, they're very good brushes. Uh, they're shaped like a dagger and they work very well for landscape painting. Um, I'm gonna be using fan brushes as well, but primarily hog hair, filbert, bristle brushes. I like the, the effect they have and they're especially good for landscapes uh, because they, they give those soft, uh, a, a nice soft and, and you know, transition, kind of soft and rough. It, it's, it's a nice uh, texture to go with landscapes. So this was live streamed on Twitch, and if you want to watch the, the whole video, I have it in a playlist uh, under live streams on my YouTube channel. They are unlisted videos, but if you go to the playlist, you can find all my previous live streams. So if you are uh, insane and you want to see everything, uh, you know, just going in real time. I have it all here. So here we are, we're, we're hatching the light out on the trees, trying to get an impression. And I do make a lot of mistakes. And the main thing with painting, if you're a beginner moron, idiot, pe peasant, mongrel moron, is that you just need to understand that you need to be working on the drawing and being good at or improving uh, your correction skills, right? We're always gonna be making mistakes. I spend most of the, my time making mistakes and correcting mistakes. That's what I do. Um, I do it in drawing and by extension I do it in, in, in painting. Now this concept of squinting down slowly opening your eyes as you, as you slowly develop the painting, that's nothing new and that's what we do in fact in drawing and it's taught in the very uh, beginning stages when we're doing bar drawings which I've done a couple of videos on those already unfortunately because I hate doing that. But c'est la vie as the Nicaraguans say. So, as we can tell here, I'm starting to get to the more of the fun part. I really enjoy this part where uh, I'm using various brushes to get the effects that I want to get. In a little bit, I'm going to be going up into the sky and putting the clouds in, in a, a certain way. 
Um, I'm really laying the paint down, doing some big basic corrections. Maybe I should have done before, right there. And we're working on the clouds, really laying the paint down. And I think here I take a Bob Ross <laughs> smoothing brush, which you use what you can, right? And he had some very uh, good techniques and skills that translate quite nicely over to uh, this method of painting. And I just smooth the sky out with them. As you can tell, I'm working all around the painting, and that's what you want to do. You don't just want to develop one area and then uh, leave the rest to rot. It's going to look unbalanced, kind of like your face like that, and it's going to be harder to paint, and when you do something like in the left corner, uh, it's going to affect the right side of the painting, and so you can't. You have to develop it all at once, and you're going to have a much easier time. Uh, so I'm just bringing values up, correcting shapes, uh, looking at the overall effect, and just getting the the just the impression of the image uh, listed above of, of uh, what I'm looking at. Uh, my goal here was not to get, my goal here was to snap out of the slump. It was not to do an exact replica reproduction of what I was looking at, but I was taking what I liked about it and really putting it in there and studying technique and form, thinking of how I could use this going forward in my work. And that's what you want to do. You want to have a roadmap of where you're going uh, in your work. Um, Right? You don't just want to do a painting to do a painting and then you put it on the fridge and show your mom and post it on Instagram and say, OMG, look what I did at AOL, hashtag, hashtag, whatever. You want to have a plan of attack. You want to have a direction of where you're going. And in doing so, you're gonna have you're gonna get more benefit out of everything that you do. There we go, that's the full process. If you want to see me painting, I always live stream my work a couple times a week on Twitch. Until next time, Luz Gadetti, out.